everyone. For this week's tip and trick, we're going to talk about Adobe Acrobat DC and how to use it to create a fillable PDF. So the first thing that I want to talk about is how to gain access to the software. If you're a Hartnell College employee, you do have access to it even if you don't have it installed on your computer. So you can either go to the Adobe website and install Adobe Acrobat DC onto your personal computer and then use your Hartnell credentials to sign in when prompted, or you can go to the PDC virtual desktop and sign in there where you will then have access to the software, but you will still need to sign in to use it. So let's start by logging into the PDC virtual desktop. And if you're not sure how to do this, go to hartnell.edu slash PDC and search for the guide for logging in to the virtual desktop. It will walk you through that process. So once you've signed into the virtual desktop, it will look something like this. And you'll be able to click your start menu and search for Adobe. We're going to pick the first option, which is Adobe Acrobat DC. It will automatically prompt you to sign in. And the first step to sign in is to enter not your full email address, not yet. Just enter in hartnell.edu and click continue. This will redirect you to the official Hartnell sign-in page where you will put in your employee ID number as your username and your normal pause or computer password here, and then click login. You will now be prompted to start a tour, but we'll skip it this time, though I do recommend you take it. And now we have the options that we need to open up our PDF and make it into a fillable form. Now we can take a pre-existing PDF or we can take another document like a Word document and make it into a fillable form and PDF by clicking create PDF. Now we'll select our file. And I'm going to go to my desktop because I have a couple of items here in my file folder that I can use to create a form with. So let's go with here is a test form. It's a Word document and I'm going to click open. And now it's going to automatically convert my Word document into a PDF. So at this point, I can start making my form fillable. So over to the right, I have several options. And the one that I want to look for is the one that says prepare form. And if I don't see it, I can click more tools and see all tools. And I should be able to find prepare form on here. right here. If this is something I'm going to use often, I can always add it to my toolbar. So by clicking add, I now see prepare form here, but it's not a big deal if you want to do this a different way just by searching for it. And now I can click open and I have my file that's already open. So I'm going to click start. And it automatically detects my fields and makes them fillable, which is really, really convenient. If I want to make this a little bit smaller, I can kind of see my form a little bit, a little bit better here. So if I don't like the way this filled anything out, um, I can get rid of it just by clicking on it and then clicking delete on my keyboard. And then I can add any of my new options here. So let's say instead of it being a text field, I wanted it to be like a, um, let's say I wanted it to be a drop down. So I'll click on drop down. And now I can draw, I can either click 
once I have it lined up. So let's say I wanted to click somewhere on my document. I just click and here's my drop down and then I can move it if I wanted to and I can resize it as well just by grabbing the outside of the field and then if I want if I wanted to edit any of these options I'm going to right click on it and click properties this is where I'll be able to name the drop down menu if I want this is the name that's going to display to the people who are filling it out so let's say it's like we're going to choose a semester so maybe I might call it semester and then the tooltip is the item that shows up when your the person filling out your form is hovering their mouse over it. So we might want to say for the tooltip, select the current semester, for example. Now I can do other things here. I mean, see how many options I have. I can do quite a few things here. Um, but I may want to make it read only so nobody can actually choose it. I may also want to make it required. That's something that that you'll probably use quite a bit here is the required. And now I can choose how I want it to look. Um, I don't really want to mess with any of this. I don't want to mess with the position, but I do want to go into my options here because this is a drop down menu. So I want to make sure that there are drop down items to choose from, right? Drop down options. So I will say fall 2020 and click add. And let's do spring 2021 and add. And that's enough for right now. Um, if I wanted to allow people to enter in their own text, I could. Um, I am just going to leave it here. And then if I sc scroll down a bit, I will see my option to close right here. And then when I click away from it, it will show that this is a required field. It is highlighted in red, which makes it easy for me what's required to see what's required and what's not. So you have lots of different field options. Generally, it's going to select the right one with the auto detect feature, which makes your life a lot easier. But I do encourage you to check out these options when you get them in it because these can really enhance how your how your forms look and how they how they work. So when you're ready to see and test how your fillable form operates, you can click on preview and you can test. Let's make this a little bigger so we can actually see. I can test my fillable form by writing in it and things like that. You'll see this is what um, this is what my users are going to see. They're going to see this one required field that's highlighted in red. Great, that works just fine. And then I can click close, and that's going to close out my item from being able to edit it. And then I can clear out all of my test fields. Oops. Now, if I want to go back in and make changes to this again, then I see that option to prepare form right here. And it brings me right back into that edit mode. So I can preview it. I can close it for editing whatever I want to do here. When I'm ready to distribute this, what I will do is save this form. You will have to close it before you can save it. And this is really, really important here. Um, if you just were to save this form as it is and put this up on, say, the Hartnell website, people would go, they'd download it, they'd fill it out, and then they'd try to save their form, and it will not save their data. Incredibly frustrating for our users, frustrating for you because you're not getting your forms filled out, um, that kind of thing. So when you're ready to save this and distribute it, make sure that you go to File up at the top left and go to Save as Other, select Reader Extended PDF, and Enable More Tools. You see right here it says that it includes Form Fill-In and Save, and that's what we want. So we'll click on Enable More Tools, and now we'll click Save Now. 
save it however you would like with whatever title you would like on your computer and make sure it's somewhere that you'll be able to find it again. And I'll click Save. And now if I exit, there we go. It's right here. It's the PDF form. And this is what I'm ready to distribute. And I can open it up and take a look at it and um, play around with it if I would like to. Just make sure that if you do test this again, um, that you clear everything out all over again. Otherwise, the form that you put on the website will be the one that you've been testing with. And who knows what you've put in the form, right? <laughs> so that's it for Adobe Fillable Forms with Acrobat DC. So what we've done today is we've logged into the virtual desktop to access Adobe Acrobat DC. We have taken a test form that was in a Microsoft Word document and we converted it to a fillable form. We then edited some of our fields, placed some new fields, and then we enabled the saving so that way it's a savable fillable form for our users. So that's it for today. If you want any more tips and tricks or guides or any additional support, go to hartnell.edu slash pdc slash guides slash adobe. Thanks for watching.